Hello everyone, welcome to Office Mystic. In this video, we're going to go over how to generate a mail merge using Office 365. Now the steps for generating a mail merge is very similar to identical if you have 2016 or 2019. Now here in the document, you will see all the variables are encased in brackets. And we're gonna take a look at the Excel document. And here is the data that will be pulled in as you can see, I have formatted the columns to match the content, just in case it becomes a factor when you pull it in. Now we're going to exit the Excel document because you cannot have it open or else it will not link when you choose your field codes. First, we will click on the mailings tab. We're not going through the wizard. This is just going to be a faster way to go about it. We're going to immediately go to select recipients. We are not going to go through the step-by-step -step wizard. Under select recipients, we're going to use an existing list. Now we're going to navigate to the Excel document. In this case, it's called Excel source mail merge and then click open. There's only one tab, the context tab, which is what is listed here. And the first row contains headers, so you can leave that checked and then click OK. And now we will immediately go to Insert Merge Field. First, we're going to highlight all the variables. Date. First name, middle name. I want to speed things up because uh, this part can be a little boring. You can either copy and paste the first name here or you can just select it again through the drop down menu. And the amount. and the gift date. And now you're going to click on the Finish and Merge menu here, and then click on Edit Individual Documents. And as you can see, here it is. Now you're going to notice the ones with middle initials, it looks fine. But if they don't have a middle initial, you'll notice there are two spaces. We're going to enable show hide so you can see more clearly. So you have two spaces here instead of just one. That's because it's missing the middle initial, but you can suppress the extra spacing. And you'll also notice here, the dollar amount, it's, uh, it's not showing the currency. So we can fix that too. So we're gonna close out of this, we're not going to bother saving. And we're going to go back to home and show a height here as well. So what we're going to do is delete the space in between the field codes. You're going to right click on first name, select edit field, and then where it says text to be inserted after, you're going to click inside the field and hit the space bar. You'll see it all, it will automatically enter a check. And then click OK. And then you're going to do the same for the middle initial. And then click OK. We don't need one for the last name. Now for the amount, we're going to use a switch to tell that field code it's a currency. So you're going to click on toggle field codes. And then you see the cursor is blinking after the amount. You're going to enter a backslash, pound sign, dollar sign, comma, pound sign, period, zero, zero. And now we're going to take a look at this mail merge. Click on mailings, 
scroll down finish and merge, click on edit individual documents and click OK. Now you will see here we have the dollar sign for the currency and the middle initial is suppressed when there isn't one in that record. Fortunately, when you don't have an apartment number, Word is smart enough just to exclude that line. And that concludes our video on a simple mail merge using Office 365. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe for future videos and tutorials with Office 365 and other Microsoft applications. Thank you.